In public, at least, President Vladimir Putin has been concentrating on the domestic agenda for the last week, visiting flood-stricken areas of Russia's Far East and shaking hands with a walrus in Vladivostok. But his closest advisers have made it clear that he's been enjoying President Obama's discomfort over Syria. When the two men met in Northern Ireland in June, President Obama said afterwards that President Putin was like the bored kid at the back of the classroom. And when it comes to such misunderstandings or such a reluctance to hear, this is a signal of uh, something is not right about the relations, something is very seriously not right. A thousand miles from Moscow in the mineral-rich Ural Mountains, there's a very different brand of US-Russian relations. Here, the American aircraft manufacturer Boeing has opened a new state-of-the-art plant for building vital sections of the 787 Dreamliner. It's a joint operation with a Russian titanium producer. At the height of the Cold War, it would have been unthinkable for Russia and America to cooperate so closely on something as sensitive as aerospace manufacturing. And yet, more than two decades on, the relationship remains fractious and unstable. In this new era, business is business for Russians, but their president is not particularly out of touch with public opinion. Even here, where many jobs now rely on America, I found there was suspicion of the old enemy. Everyone knows what they are doing in Iraq and Iran, interfering everywhere all the time. I don't know. When Russia gave political asylum to the U.S. whistleblower Edward Snowden in July, President Obama cancelled his planned trip to Moscow, and his famous attempt to reset relations with Vladimir Putin was over. Putin uh, started his presidency as one of the most pro-Western leaders uh, Russia ever had. His experience was terribly disappointing to him. And he, rightly or wrongly, came to conclusion by mid 2000s that with those guys, that's Im just impossible to deal because they don't stick to promises, they do what they want, and they use force uh, whenever they want. Even four years ago, when the two leaders met in Moscow, it was an uncomfortable morning. Then came Libya, Syria and political trouble for President Putin at home, which he blamed on America. U.S.-Russian relations are stuck in a trough and will stay there for the next few years. Daniel Sanford, BBC News, Moscow.